Welcome back to my show. I'm the Beard Venture. I'm Carissa. And on this episode, we've got one from Nashville. This one's from Barik. Uh, now, these guys, everything is like barrel aged. Okay. So, this is the barrel aged lager beer, Baltic Porter. Mm. Now, Chris is going to dig this one, but check this out. All of our beers are brewed, fermented, or conditioned in oak barrels. We use traditional techniques and authentic ingredients when crafting all our beers. This lager beer was fermented in stainless steel, then lagered in 225 liter wine and 200 liter whiskey barrels. Yeah. But wait, wait. It's a party. Um, this one was, production time was 41 weeks. Wow. Okay, now it's a lager and it was like aged. Mm -hmm. So that's why these are going to be a little more expensive because they right. tied up production for so long. Right. And they're 9.1. <laughs> I was waiting on the ABV. Brewed with a blend of Munich and chocolate malts, double decoted, lagered in rye whiskey and wine barrels forever. It says forever. It does say forever. So I've had a couple of their beers, and so far I've been like, "Yeah, that was pretty rad." Well, that was nice. <laughs> yeah, they had some uh, like Oktoberfest type stuff. That was purely lovely. Okay. They're bubbly, but nice dark head. Yes. You mm. smell that? I smell mm. the wine. I smell the whiskey. I like whiskey more than I like wine, but I do like wine sometimes. Mm. Damn, that smells good. It smells dark. <laughs> All right, who's going in first? I don't care. You go. Okay. I might have to zoom in. Let's see. Mm, it smells really good. I like Baltic porters too, like a lot. Mm. That's really good. Oh, wow. There's so much going on. Okay. Mm. Ooh. It's mm. woody, but not, oh, my God, wood. No. Um, oh, you get the wine, you get the whiskey, you get... Uh, I even get that it's tiny malty. bit of, of rye. Ooh. It's a little sweet. It's mal Oh, there's so much going on. Holy crap. It's a little boozy. But I wouldn't have thought. But not, not, not as nine. boozy as you'd think a nine would be. Dude, I would, have, def I would have said like seven maybe. Mm. Oh, crap. This one might be better than the, uh, they had like an Oktoberfest and a Fest. They had like an Oktoberfest, like a Marzen and like a Fest beer. And oh, they were both gonna, gangster. Mm. This is going to open up so much in about five minutes. Oh, out. yeah. Of sitting open. I mean. Keep. In 15 minutes, it's going to be. Mah! Yeah. Um, crap, only got one. We can get more. We need more. Like already. I'm already like, need more. Yeah, in 15 minutes, this is going to be the shit. I say this one for you. Mm. I knew you'd like it. Plus, I needed the you to do a couple beers, beers you didn't like. <laughs> just the one thing I've learned about the dark beers, because I like my beers good. Give it to me cold, cold, cold. But mm, not the dark ones. You want them to warm up just a little bit. Though you want them chilled but not cold. Okay. You want them a little cooler than room temperature. Yeah. So you got to kind of cellar temperature. Yeah, kinda. cellar temperature is perfect, but mm. you need them a little, little cooler you than your little, ambient temperature yeah. which means you have to play with it which a lot of times what i do is if i'm gonna have a couple beers tonight open it up let it breathe and let it sit for yeah like i have something light that i'm gonna drink i will set it on the counter or go, go ahead and to it. open it and pour it mm -hmm. and just let it sit there while because think about dark beers needing to warm up a tiny bit, like red wine needs to breathe mm -hmm. breathe and open up. Yep. 
Um, like, take a drink of it when it's right out of the refrigerator cold. And then wait 15 minutes and take a drink. And you're going to know a difference. God, dog, that's good. Every flavor in it is going to enhance. But I smell... I smell wine. Mm. I smell whiskey. Wood. I smell the wood. I smell the malt. Mm. See... This beer was the reward beer because I needed her to do a couple beers. Yeah, because he's two. jacked me up tonight. <laughs> Look, I had some local IPAs that need to get done. But I was like, hey, I got a special one for you. You might not enjoy this one, but you're going to love the other one. <sighs> this beer is dope. Just the like there's nothing, so nice. there's nothing negative about mm -hmm. it. There's not. The front's good. The middle's good. The back's great. Yeah. Like the aftertaste is you're just. The color's good. The smell's good. Gosh, I hope this is year round. It's really good. I need more of these. I'm very upset that I only got one. It's pretty good. Yeah. I'm enjoying this so much. If you guys are enjoying this video, even the slightest, uh, hit me with the like. I really appreciate it. It shows me that you care. It shows YouTube that you're enjoying this video. Um, hey, did you have a good time? Are you enjoying it? Go, think about subscribing. Please do. I'm over a thousand now, you know. Ring the bell three times a week. Me and my friends, we're drinking beer. We record it. You guys come along for the fun. Um, I'm going to see what I can find to put in the description. In the description, you're also going to find all my links, uh, social media merch, all that fun stuff. Hey, buy some stickers or a shirt. Uh, I'll get some money. I'll buy more beer and do more videos. I've got over 800 when I'm filming this. Um, uploaded, not just filmed. I haven't even got it around to editing. Um, let's talk about this down there in the comments. Does this sound amazing? Is there some barrel-aged beer that you just can't get enough of that maybe I should hunt for? I have friends. Sometimes they go out of the area, too, in wildly different places. I'm always having my buddies, like, please bring me something back. I got money. Uh, plus, I just go random places, too. Um, so, let's go ahead and rate this one. Did you dig it? Oh, y'all. Dude, this beer is amazing. Ooh, that nine's going to sneak up on you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Would you have another? Yep. Yep. Uh, if I had two of them in a row, I might be hammered. <laughs> I'm lightweight these days. True. Okay. Um, does it have sick ability? It's from Nashville. I don't know what their distribution is. Mm. I tend to pick these up in Memphis and Nashville. Yeah. Uh, just because those are two of the larger markets that I'm in on a regular basis. Um, now, let's see. Would you recommend it? Mm. Yeah. I think we are right now. Yeah, this, this, this beer. This beer is fan damn -tastic. Um I like to rank mine 1 to 10, 1 pint's the lowest, 10 pint's the highest. Put them on in. You're lying. You're lying. No, I mean, like, I'm not quite at a 10. Okay. But I don't know what it would take to be a 10. Nitro. <laughs> it's always it for me. Nitro makes it. <laughs> um, like, I'm fully at a 9, and depending yes. on what, maybe if I was having... A charcuterie board right now might be a 10. I'm not sure, but like this beer is, this beer is a home run. Like. Mm, oh, God. Oh, fudge. 
I'm telling you, see, it's warmed up just a little bit. So many flavors going on. I love it. I love it. So many flavors going on. I might like this one better than their Oktoberfests. Wow. It's a solid nine. It's a high nine. Mm-hmm. I mean... That's yeah. yummy, 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 yummy stuff. This beer is fantastic. Uh, highly recommend. There you have it, folks. To your next beer adventure. Cheers.